Welcome to Life Photo TV. In today's episode, we're going to create a Valentine calendar. What a great way to show somebody how much you love them by giving them this special gift. To start, we're going to go by Shop by Celebration and go down until you see Valentine's Day and select. On this page, you can select from Valentine Day cards, Accordion Valentine Day cards, metallic valentines, photo books, wall calendars, photo notebooks, and many more. We're going to focus on the wall calendar and select. Now it's time to design your own. So select design your own. Now it's time to customize your calendar. To start, we're going to go to quick start. And now you get to pick what month you wanted to start. Since we're past January, I thought we'd go with February. And then you get to select how many months you want. It's between 12 or 18. I'm going to go with 18. And now you get to pick the size of your calendar. You can do the standard, which is 11 by 8 inch. Or you can do the 6 inch by 4.4 .4 inch, which is what we're going to do for this project. After we select the size, we're going to go to Photo Options, and we get to choose our photos. We're going to go to My Photo Folders and select now the folder I want is on page 3, so I need to go to page 3. This is page 2, so we have to hit it again. Select. Alright, we're at page 3. And what I'm going to do is take our engagement photos and use them for our Valentine calendar. So select. Alright, now you've selected your photos. Now, because this is a Valentine's calendar, I want to add a new background. So I'm going to go to Add Background and select. Now you can select an image that you have already, or you can use Life Photo stock backgrounds. I'm going to go with their backgrounds. Select. All right, now you can look through the categories. We got birthday, Christmas, keep going down, and they have a category for Valentine's Day, so select. All right, now there's three different ones you can go with. I'm going to go with the roses and just select on top of it. The next step is to select your layout for your calendar. You can select full bleed, which basically you wouldn't see your background at all, so we really wouldn't need a background. Portrait, you'll see your background, and it'll also give you a spot where you can write text. Landscape gives you a little bit of border, not as much as portrait does. And it also gives you a little space for text, and that would be the black bar right there. The gray is where the picture is. And then you can do panoramic, which would be a lot longer than the landscape and show a little more on the sides than on the top. We're going to go with landscape. And now the next thing you get to pick is if you want to manually put in your photos or you can have Life Photo place in the photos for you. I'm going to go with automatic. And the other thing, if you want a border around your pictures, you can choose a color. Now my border is red. So I don't want to choose red because then you won't see it. So I'm going to go with a white border. Now we're going to go into the message options. Now I'm going to select February 10th, 2012. I'm going to put first date and add to list below. All right, and down below now you can see that it says that was our first date. And then I'm going to go into September. Now you could put in Valentine's Day. But I want to tell you that Life Photo automatically puts it in, so you don't have to. And I'm going to put Anniversary and add to the list below. All right, and next, after you've put in all your dates that you want shown on the calendar, you can go and choose the color of your font. Now, because this is Valentine's Day, I'm going to go with red, of course. And now it's time to go down until you see Next and Select. On this page, we'll get to look through the pages. You're going to see the cover page first, then you're going to see February. Now remember, we didn't do January, we selected February first. Now you can scroll through and see if any of the photos need fixing, like this only has guy in there, so we need to add the girl. Also here, we only see, we don't see their heads at all. So I'm going to select edit photo. Now you could try editing the photo and dragging it down to see how that looks. But then we lose the guy, so I'm going to say done editing. I'm going to select the template, and just to let you know, you can always change your template. And I'm going to put portrait, and now I need to select it one more time, and I'm going to make it smaller. Perfect, now hit done editing, 
and now I'm going to add some text to select below. You can change the font, you can change the size of the font, and you can change the color. I'm not going to do red because that's a little too close to the background. So I'm going to go with white, select, and say done editing. And there you go. Right underneath you have your font and you have your picture. Now the next thing is you can look at the next page by hitting next. For calendars, I like to go to done editing. This way I get to scroll through them a lot faster and find the ones that need to be fixed. We'll select May now and we'll select templates and portrait. All right, for this one, we're gonna click it to edit and we're gonna drag it down so you see more of them and say done editing and select done editing. Now that we finish editing that photo, I want you to take time and scroll through and find photos that need fixing. And then I want you to play with the editing options of the photos. Now I'm gonna let you know that the next few tutorials that are coming up will have different techniques for you to create your photos. So stay tuned to Life Photo. I did take the time and I corrected all my photos. And now that I've finished my photos and placing them in the calendar, I can share my calendar. I can buy my calendar. I can play my calendar. I can save my calendar. And I can edit my calendar. Thanks for joining us for another Life Photo episode.